Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to learn about V to I, that is voltage to current, and I to V, current to voltage converters, using operational amplifiers. At the end of this session, the students will be able to explain and analyze voltage to current, that is V to I, and current to voltage, I to V, converters implemented using operational amplifiers. These are the contents of my today's presentation. The voltage to current converter provides output current that is directly proportional to input voltage. Input voltage is converted into proportional output current. So, V to I converter that is voltage to current converter can be used in applications such as low AC and DC voltmeters to convert voltage into current and light emitting diode that is LEDs tester and Jenner diode testers. To find uh, matching uh, light emitting diodes of equal brightness, this V to I converter can be used. The current to voltage converter that is I to V converter is a special case of inverting amplifier in which input current is converted into output proportional voltage. So, I to V converter is commonly used with the digital to analog converters whose output is always current. So, output of uh, digital to analog converter that is current is converted into a proportional voltage. So, at the output of DAC, I to V converter is used as well as I to V converter is used in sensing the current from photo detectors such as solar cells, photodiodes, photo cells which is proportional to light intensity. Now let us see the first version of voltage to current converter with floating load that is V to I converter with floating load. So figure shows the circuit diagram for V to I converter with floating load in which load resistor RL is connected in feedback loop of operational amplifier. It is connected in between output terminal and inverting input of operational ampl amplifier in place of feedback resistor RF. The input voltage to be converted into proportional output current is applied to non-inverting input of operational amplifier. So, op -amp is working in non-inverting mode and uh, the feedback voltage, the voltage appearing across R1 that is a feedback voltage that is proportional to output current is applied at inverting input. Whatever current flowing through inverting input of operational amplifier that is a bias current, it is approximately zero. So, output current flowing through load resistor RL, almost all output current flows through R1 and produces a voltage. So, voltage producing produced across R1 that is applied to inverting input of operational amplifier. So, that is a feedback voltage. So, the load resistor RL is floating means it is not connected to ground and input voltage applied at non-inverting input terminal that is the feedback voltage R1 is applied to inverting input terminal. So, we can verify the working of this circuit by getting the equation for output that is output current. So, let us write uh, Kirchhoff's voltage equation for input lo loop of this circuit. So, Vn is equal to Vid plus Vf where Vn is the applied input voltage and Vid is the differential input voltage of operational amplifier and Vf is a feedback voltage. But Vid is approximately 0 volts. Since uh, the gain of operational amplifier that is basic gain of operational amplifier A uh, is very large uh, ideally infinity. So, it tends to infinity means input voltage tends to differential input voltage tends to 0. So, therefore, Vn is equal to Vf. So, voltage ap applied at non inverting input uh, appears across the feedback resistor R1, input resistor R1, Vf. So, Vn is equal to R1 into IO, that is output current. So, IO equal to Vn upon R1. So, this equation shows that input voltage Vn is converted into proportional output current. So, that is given by Vn, up, Vn upon R1. This means that input voltage Vn appears across resistor R1. 
if in place of uh, register R1, if we are using a precision register, the output current will be precisely uh, fixed. Now let us go for the second version of V to I converter, that is the voltage to current con converter with grounded load. So this figure shows circuit diagram for V to I converter with grounded load. In this, the input voltage to be converted into output uh, current is applied to a non-inverting input. Uh, Op-amp is working in non-inverting mode and feedback circuit is designed around uh, inverting input. So in place of RF and R1, same value of register R is used and operational amplifier is biased with dual DC power supply plus VCC and minus VWE and load connected at the output is connected to ground, it is grounded. So one terminal of load is connected with the output terminal through register R and another terminal is connected to ground. So input voltage V is applied through register R. So identical registers are used and uh, the current resulting due to input voltage is I1 and current resulting due to output of the circuit uh, PO is uh, I2 and the cu current flowing through load is IL is a summation of I1 and I2 and input bias current of operational amplifier is approximately zero, IB is, is zero as input resistance of op amp is very high, very large, ideally infinity. So, uh, to verify the working of this circuit, we can get the equation for output voltage. So, let us analyze this circuit. Uh, load current is controlled uh, by the input voltage. Let us find voltage V1 at non-inverting input terminal, then establishing the relation between V1 and load current or the input voltage V in and the load current I L. So, use KCL at node V1, so that is I1 plus I2 is equal to I L. So, let us express I1 in terms of potential difference and resistance V in minus V1 upon R plus V O minus V1 upon R that is equal to I L. So, V in plus V O after simplification V in plus V O minus 2 V N 2 V N is equal to I L into R. Therefore, uh, V1 is equal to V n plus V O minus I L R divided by 2. Since operational amplifier is working in, in uh, non inverting mode, the gain of this circuit, voltage gain of this circuit is 1 plus R F upon R1 that is here, 1 plus R upon R, so that is equal to 2. So then output voltage V O is equal to gain times the input voltage. So that is equal to 2 V in uh, V 1. So this is equal to 2 to gate cancels. So V in plus V O minus I L into R. So after simplification, uh, V in is equal to I L into R. So output load current I L is equal to V in upon R. So this means that the load current uh, depends upon the input voltage V in and resistance R. Now let us go for I to V converter that is current to voltage converter. This figure shows the circuit diagram for current to voltage converter. It is a special case, case of inverting amplifier. So in place of uh, uh, V in and R1, a current source can be shown. So that is I in. So I in is a input current resulting due to input voltage that is applied to inverting input and current flowing through inverting input and non-inverting input. So those are bias currents IB1 and IB2 are approximately zero. So the input current is applied to inverting input and current flowing through inverting input is approximately zero because the input resistance of operational amplifier is very large, ideally infinity. So all input current flows through feedback register RF. RF is connected in between inverting and uh, output terminal of operational amplifier. Operational amplifier is biased with dual uh, DC power supply plus VCS and minus VWE and uh, load register RL is connected at the output. So the proportional voltage corresponding to the input current will appear across load register RL. So that is across RF. The non-inverting input plus input is connected to ground. So voltage V1 is zero. So therefore, voltage V2 is also zero because differential input voltage 
tends to 0 as the basic gain of op m tends to infinity. So, let us consider ideal voltage gain of inverting amplifier. So, ratio of output voltage to input voltage V o upon V n is equal to minus R f upon R 1. So, that is equal to V o equal to minus for uh, V n upon R 1 into R f. Since V 1 is equal to 0 volts, therefore, V 2 is also 0 volts. This is by the concept of virtual ground. Op m always tries to equalize voltage at non inverting and inverting. So, non inverting is 0 volt, so uh, inverting is also 0. So, inverting input of operational amplifier is acting as a virtual ground. So, uh, V in upon R1 is equal to I in. So, output voltage is equal to uh, the input current minus I in into R f. So, output voltage is directly proportional to the input current I in as feedback resistor R f is fixed constant. So, output voltage becomes proportional to the input current I in. In other words, the circuit converts the input current into a proportional a voltage. Now, a student can pause video here and think over this question and try to write the answer. Identify and justify the type of uh, feedback used in V to I converter with floating load. The current series negative feedback is used. So, since current flowing through resistor R1 that is proportional to output current that is current flowing through feedback resistor RF. Uh, so, voltage produced across uh, R1 is uh, feedback voltage it is applied to inverting input of operational amplifier and this feedback voltage depends upon output current. So, this uh, feedback voltage it is in series with the input differential voltage or difference voltage V i d. So, feedback voltage across R 1 is coming in series with differential input voltage uh, V i d as well as the input voltage applied at non inverting input. Therefore, it is also called as current series negative feedback amplifier. So, current series negative feedback amplifier is a voltage to current converter with floating load. This is a reference. Thank you.